The reviews are in for Infinity Strash, Dragon Quest The Adventures of Die, and let's just say things are not looking good right now. On Metacritic with 7 reviews, the game currently sits on a 61%, though I do suspect once we get more reviews in, that score will go lower. I suspect it to be a 55 to 58 meta score, which of course is not good at all. And for the most part, just based on what I've seen from the majority of reviews, even from the most positive reviews, there seems to be two glaring problems with the game being the shallow combat and piss poor storytelling. And when I'm talking about the shallow combat, I'm talking more so about the fact that the game has very simple combat systems here and there, akin to something like the Musou games. And it doesn't feel like Final Fantasy 16, for example, which I didn't expect this game to be. <laughs> and as for the story, most people have a problem that it's just retelling the anime. While for sites like Screen Rant, they say that there's too much telling the story than actually playing the game. Which obviously isn't good. In terms of the retelling story part, Square Enix said that this was going to be a retelling of the first couple of chapters of The Adventures of Die. So I don't know what people were getting at with that when they already knew that it was not going to be a brand new story for Die. It was going to be a retelling. But for someone like Screen Rant to explain that, no, they just explained too much of the story. There were too much storytelling than actually playing. That makes more sense to me. And regarding some of the praises of the game, most people seem to like the music, most people like the visuals of the game, and if the combat works, people like the combat. Though the more skating side of things from RPG side and Noisy Pixel, they definitely have a lot more problems with this game. Noisy Pixel equates the gameplay loop as a mobile game, while RPG side has problems with the level design as well. So if you're someone that looks at the more negative reviews because they're going to explain more to why they have an issue with the game, do keep in mind they have problems with not only with the combat and storytelling, but problems with the level design and the fact that the game feels like a mobile game. As for where I sit with these reviews, I would say most of these reviews may have merit, but for myself, I'm still going to play the game and see for myself of whether or not this game is good or bad. And of course, eventually down the line, you'll probably see me review the game as well. And I'll tell you guys right now, I'm probably going to say that this game is fine. I don't really have a problem with the combat system and for the story, it was obviously going to be a retelling and it does its job just fine. I'll probably say where Screen Rant is where there's a little bit too much retelling of the anime. But as you guys know already, I'll eventually will be playing Infinity Strash tomorrow in a live stream, so be on the lookout for that. But for everyone else, I just want to say, if you're still planning to pick up the game, still pick up the game nonetheless. I'm not saying that to be a shill or anything, because typically when it comes down to a game and the game ends up getting bad reviews, at the end of the day, you yourself are the best critic, because you know exactly the kind of games you enjoy, and if you are excited for something like Infinity Strash, go play the game yourself and see whether or not you like the game or not. If you don't like the game, then find a way to refund it. And that honestly is the best advice I can give you. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and you liked this video, then consider hitting that like button. And you want to see more videos, then you should check out these videos here. I think you'll enjoy them and get a good kick out of those. See you guys on the next one, take care.